At the age of 32, he wrote, Oh, how unjust you are to me, you people who consider me to be a bitter and stubborn misanthrope. I nearly put an end to my life. Only the art prevented me from doing that. But the art not only saved him, it also made Ludwig van Beethoven the general of music and his genius musical compositions immortal. Ludwig van Beethoven was born on December 16, 1770 in Bonn. His mother died early in his life and his father, who was the soloist of the court choir, drank away what little salary he received. He forced little Ludwig to learn music in order to earn money from the new little Mozart's talent. As soon as his early years, Ludwig had to be the breadwinner for the family, which comprised his two younger brothers and the father drunkard. Beethoven created his first composition, the Variations for the Clavier, at age 12, and his first ballet at age 20. Beethoven did not get systematic education, but his ardent receptive nature and brilliant piano improvisations attracted the attention of the enlightened families of Bonn that gave support to the young talent. According to his contemporaries, he was a dandy young fellow, kind and nice to his friends. In 1792, his admirers helped Ludwig to go to study to the most musical city of Europe. In Vienna, Beethoven joined the circle of the wealthy music amateurs and professional musicians. His early compositions in many ways followed the 18th century canons, but from time to time, there were typical Beethoven's features revealed in the bold violation of the common norms and stormy atmosphere of his compositions seemed an aggressive arbitrariness to the listeners. Haydn said of his early composer's experience, besides your enormous talent, there will always be something unusual in your compositions, since you are a little bit gloomy and strange. Indeed, the pleasant young man gradually changed into a short-tempered madcap capable to give the worst names to the orchestra musicians. But it had a due explanation. At age 26, Beethoven started to go deaf. The disease gradually aggravated. First appeared the noise in the ears. Then he found it difficult to distinguish between high and low sounds. Beethoven fell into despair. He was ashamed of his deafness and afraid to be an object of pity. Ludwig became gloomy and harsh. Sometimes he was rough and tactless. He managed to hide his disease for more than 10 years. The fact that he often answered not to the point, everybody ascribed this to his bad mood or absent-mindedness. In the summer of 1802, in a quiet suburb of Vienna, he composed the Heiligenstadt Testament, a racking confession of the musician tormented by the illness. Nevertheless, Beethoven was strong enough to suppress his fate. He escaped into his own world, the imaginary universe of sounds. It took for its creator the place of the world of real sounds that was passing away from him. Facing the oncoming silence, Beethoven created his genius compositions, the Kreutzer's Sonata, the overture to the tragedy of Coriolanus, songs for Goethe's verses, the piano sonatas, Waldstein and Appassionata. Beethoven had never been married. Many ladies rejected him. Yet not once the romantic feelings to some of his noble students were the source of inspiration for the composer. His most famous sonata, later named the Moon Sonata, is dedicated to his student, the Duchess, Giulietta Gucciardi. Nearly most of his life, Beethoven lived in poverty. Once he explained to his friends the reason for his long absence, I was not sick, but my only boots have caught such a fever that they hardly survived. Only towards the later days did he have any remunerative commissions. However, the composer quite often sold the manuscripts to several buyers at a time, and playing cards, he won the sums that exceeded his fees. 
he collected this money to his orphan nephew, Kaspar. His Ninth Symphony, Beethoven wrote, being already completely deaf. During his work, he sang, howled, stomped. He seemed to have a mortal combat with invisible enemy. At the opening night, Beethoven stood near the conductor, unable to hear the thunderous applause behind his back. One of the musicians took him by the sleeve and turned him, facing the audience. In December of 1826, Beethoven had pneumonia. On March 24th, 1827, there was a thunderstorm. As a witness told, the lightning with a terrible thunder brightly illuminated the room of the dying Beethoven. He opened his eyes, raised his right hand, and with a strict, threatening face, lifted the fist. He did not breathe, and his heart did not beat anymore. The writer Romain Roland said of Beethoven, he is the most heroic force of the modern art. He is the biggest and the best friend of all who suffer and fight. <laughs>